um, thanks for joining me again on another video. Um, excuse me, I'm in the middle of recording. Thank you, Mr. Bird. Welcome to another video. I'm hoping this will be. Uh, I'm hoping this will be a really good video. Um, it's certainly a beautiful day, and I've come to somewhere that I discovered at the weekend on a family walk, and I thought, right, I'm coming back because this place is great. Because just over this hedge, and a little bit further along, looking that way as well, which we'll see in a bit, beautiful views, beautiful views. So, um, you want to have a look? Let's have a look. So, um, yeah. So here we are. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful out there. Um, sorry, the camera's all wobbly and whatnot, but uh, you know, high tech stuff. This. So this, so this place is Green Lane, and um, at the weekend, uh, myself and my family did a nice circular walk and discovered this bit. This is the path back to Bucks Mills, and uh, along here, just over one of the fences, there's some fantastic views. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to head along there and uh, see what we can see what we can create from there Just out over in the distance there, I'm poking it, that's Clow Valley. And then a little bit further around, you're going round the edge there of Heartland and then Heartland Point and so on and so on around the corner. So just down here, whoop, that's Bucks Mills. Here's the, uh, the field I'm about to head into, um, just around the corner here. Um, so it's kind of sandwiched between the, the path back to Bucks Mills and the woodland just down, on, down here that we walk along on this circular route. I'm going to go and see if I can pitch up somewhere where I can get a, get a nice view of things and then try and use my viewfinder to start looking for uh, what I'm going to paint today. Just wow. You can see people down on the path actually. That's the way out from Bucks Mills on the circular route.
It's sensational. Just sensational. So, looking with my viewfinder, um, I'm kind of looking at something like that. Um, whoop, just go and get it right. So we're, we've got this sort of thing going on. Um, I think that's what I'm going to look at. So I'm going to get my sketchbook out and uh, have a go with that. Unbelievably, not last week, but the week before, I lost the cap for my camera and had to replace it, costing me eight quid. And now I've just gone and my tripod has just fallen over and I've just gone and snapped the base here that connects to the camera. So that's going to be another God knows how much to get that sorted. It might be worth getting a new tripod because these legs keep dropping off anyway. So brilliant. Yeah, thanks for that, Mr. Tripod. So here's my very quick sketch. Um, so I've no, sort of noticing the 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 way the lines and the shapes from the um, the sort of cliff edge there and the cliffs and the way that they run down to the beach in different sort of different sort of strokes almost. Um, so I'm going to sort of look into that here, these sorts of lines that are running down. Um, and then you've got the shapes that kind of circle up and around that are the um, that are the trees down in front. And then you've got that really lovely yellow gauze as well that's running across um, in front here and a little patch of it here. Beautiful calm blue, slightly different tone of uh, the rocks, uh, the pebbles and so on with the darker wet pebbles at the at the edge. Um, then this line moving out here um, and then the divide of the sky. That's sort of different blues there. Um, so that's what I'm going to look at today. Clovelli's in there, a little patch of white. Um, I'm going to get the easel out I think and, and, and sort of sketch it onto my uh, onto my canvas. Don't leave any rubbish behind out here in our beautiful countryside. Very important. I've got brush cleaner and my thinner and also a new coconut cocoa unsweetened tub because the last one got absolutely soaked 
by my leaking bottle of paint cleaner. So um, that goes on the side for my paintbrushes. So there we are, that's the setup at the front. Let's have a look at the paints. So here's my palette today and my colours. I've got titanium white, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, viridian green, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, cadmium lemon, alizarin crimson, and sap green. Those are my colours. So um, once again I'm using an 8x10 canvas panel. 100% cotton, 8 ounce primed, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, from um, Arteza. And um, yeah, I'm still struggling with the smaller canvases. I think I try to put too much detail in. Um, and maybe that's something I'll, I'll attempt to um, sort of get right today. So, all set up, ready to go. There's only one thing for it. I need to have a coffee. Look at that for a bit longer. <laughs> Here we go. So there it is so far. Um, there's quite a bit of blue in there as the because of the uh, cliffs and so on being further back. Um, so we're looking through this sort of this atmospheric haze slightly, which is bluing it off there. So it's blue further back, and then the greens, mid-tone greens, I think, through these trees, and then the little, and then the brighter yellow and a lighter green at the front here and then the blue of the sea and the sky are going to drop in around that and then the whites of the waves that's the progression that i'm thinking of today um, so uh, i'm just going to keep building into that now So in my previous painting I, I was struggling with the greens being chalky because I was putting too much white in rather than yellow. Um, and actually what I'm thinking here is the chalkiness of it is, is what I'm actually looking for in that distant colour as I start to put the green in there into the darker areas. Um, so I'm going to utilise that today. Um, before bringing in the front, which will be greener with more yellows. That's what I'm gonna try and do anyway. So, um, mystery solved. Uh, the lady there just walked past, she just basically said, um, 
just just started saying about what a beautiful view it is and I agreed and said is this your land she said no she walks a dog here every day she shouldn't imagine I'll get thrown off the land it's a beautiful view and uh, we had a nice chat and then that was the end of it so um cool I can carry on <laughs> I wonder where that plane is going. Hmm. So here we are so far. Um, what I'm thinking now is I'm going to start to apply more of the green into the, the background. Um, so I'm using, I'm looking at sap green. Uh, making it a bit chalkier with the white and maybe just adding a little bit of um, maybe just adding a little bit of burnt sienna in over the top as well and we'll see how it looks after I've done that and whether I'm on the right track um. Yeah, <laughs> it's usual standard. Never quite getting these colours right. Um, sort of mixing them, trying to make it pastely. I really can't seem to get it to just work for me. Um, I don't know if it's what is it I need to do. Do I need to put more white in there? Do I need to? I don't know how, how what it is. Um, so uh, you know, just got to keep practicing, I guess, mixing these colours. But you know the back sort of coming into some sort of shape, um, and then I've got to you know start thinking about what I'm going to do in the uh, in the foreground and and so on. Um, oh, I don't know. I just keep dipping away. I just keep kind of going in at it, and it's like it's a light blue coming through there with the green. I mean, what color is that? Urgh, it's just oh, nightmare. Um, yeah. Not sure, not sure, not sure, not sure, not sure. Ooh. Okay, so time's moving along. Um, I'm gonna try to start bringing in this mid-range now, this line of trees that sort of drops in and then feeds into the uh, feet, sorry, the, I'm gonna try and get the midline of trees in that sort of feeds into this yellow gauze and then um, and then just sort of front it with the grass across there. Um, and then we're on to sort of thinking about the ocean, I guess. So uh, yeah, keep going. Oh, just so that you, um, I'm just out there now started to poke through the mist is um lundy island hey hello lundy island it's out there somewhere So um, yeah, it's, I'm quite I'm quietly pleased with this one so far. I'm gonna try now to put the sky and the sea in, and we will see what that does. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Uh, so my time is up today um, it's been absolutely beautiful out here and I've loved every second of it it's been so peaceful beautiful warm 
spring day fresh air lovely and um, I've enjoyed the painting too it's been uh, it was it was nice yeah I'm quite quite pleased with it it's you know it's still pretty much as it as it was but it was just just a nice um, painting to do so even though I've kind of not really got hold of the, the paints the oils uh, and um, uh, the colors exactly and so on and so on I've kind of just enjoyed just enjoyed painting it so um, yeah all that's left to do now is to uh, pack away down a coffee and um, head on back to the car so uh, thanks for watching bye Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos there are a number of ways you can support me in the future. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now you can even donate on my buy me a coffee page. As you can see from my new videos I love coffee. But your donation will do more than just keep me full of caffeine. Every donation will go straight into buying new art materials for future projects so your help will be truly appreciated. It's easy to use. Simply follow the link and you can donate as little as two pounds to help out. Feel free to leave a comment and there's even a link to my website. Your support really does go a long way to helping me to create more art in the future. Thanks.